Before we begin, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Dolany TV and on Instagram at Tyson Dolany. You guys want to make sure you see what's going on behind the scenes here on Dolany TV. That's where to find it. Let's get going. This is Dolany TV, guys. A big welcome back to NHL 19, the Edmonton Oilers franchise mode here on the channel, of course. Today we're picking up after a 10 and 8 start, 18 games into the 2018-2019 season. We're up against the Calgary Flames to start off the episode. Of course, the Oilers are fifth in the division, three points back of a playoff spot. Anaheim has played three more games than us, and they have only three more points, so that bodes well for us. The only one thing I really want to remind you of is who has points. And this is kind of the interesting thing, right? Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl, Puyo Arvi, Nugent Hopkins, and Johansson all have points, right? All 11 or plus, but that's five of our top six. Who's the other top six? All the way down here at Ty Ratty, who's a minus seven, and like he pretty much leads the parade for minuses, right? That's the problem right there in itself. Three points, 16 goals, or 16 games played. I was going to give him 20 just to see what he could do, but we're not going to risk it. We're going to go and substitute him out, and you're going to see that I've already done that. I'm a little proactive this morning, so it definitely it is very early in the morning trying to keep my voice down as much as I can, so pardon if it's a quieter episode than normal. Pontus Aberg is in there on defense or on offense, and what I've done is switched in Ethan Bear to the second line. Ethan Bear has one goal in 18 games played. Right now he's a, what, a minor top two defenseman, but we're trying to grow him a little bit quicker. You see Matt Benning is down on the third line, only two points. In 18 games played, 18 time, 18 minutes time on ice, so it's been a challenge for him. The other thing I want to show you is, of course, what my scouts are up to because, no, nope, that's not what I want. I don't want player search. I want myself my scout list, and let's go. Oh, man, getting used to the menus still, boys. All right, assigned scout. Let's show you where they are. I've got uh, one guy in the rest of the world, Trudeau. He's, he's figuring out scout info. What's his actual name? Yves Trudeau, he's figuring out his rest of the world, see if we can find any guys over there. And of course, our pro scout in, where do we got him, where do we got him, NHL Metro? Well, I thought I had some scouts somewhere, I thought I did, oh well, oh, there we go, AHL Central. So I don't have scouts in the NHL right now, but I have an AHL Central scout, scouting Philip Zadina and Jay Bergren. From the Detroit Red Wings, trying to think out if I can make a make a deal or not. We're gonna go select uh, scout team lines, scout Pacific players, and uh, see what we can do for them. Uh, Chicago Wolves, Manitoba, Milwaukee, and we'll confirm the assignments for Labelle and see if he can get get it going for us. Um, we'll go scout this goalie here, and you see, I'm just gonna try and find myself some goalies that's the big thing right I want to build up the goalie depth Svoda um, let's go right to the goalies tab and see if we can find anyone Svoda and Klukic let's see what we got going on there and see if we can find someone it's a big challenge right that's the fog of war so that's the first time you guys have seen me use it well there you go I'm still learning let's get into the simulation and see what we can do against the Calgary Flames Vegas Golden Knights and then the San Jose Sharks, who do not have Eric Carlson in this franchise mode, which is very unfortunate. That would really make things dynamic now, wouldn't it? Against Calgary, in a big victory. I've reviewed this draft class briefly. In general, I feel it will be a good year for rookies. Good. Glad to hear. 3-2 OT win, 3-1 loss, and then San Jose's got to deliver good news. We win in a shootout, so I'll take that. And against Anaheim, big one here. Leon Dreisaitl has been injured until December 3rd. Gonna edit lines manually and get ourselves in a centerman who can play in place. So I guess Kara's got to take over at the center position, and that means Scotty Upshaw will come into the line, and we'll see what he can do for us as extras. What do we have messed up with the extras? Three on three, of course we do. So there we go. Let's go get ourselves Scotty Upshaw in there. See what he can do. Right, I'd, I'd give the shot to Ty Ratty to come back in the lineup, but I'm just not ready with Ty Ratty, of course, having that poor performance to start the year. We're 13-9-1 after four more games, so a solid go there. We're into fourth place. We're five points back of the division lead. Heck yes. 
And Leon Dreisaitl continues to have a great season. 18 points in 22 games for the man himself. You see Connor McDavid, 18 points as well. 11 goals, 7 assists. So McDavid's scoring the goals finally. And you've got Pugliarvi with 13, Strom with 13, and Johansson with 13. So Johansson's starting to struggle, and Nugent Hopkins is starting to rise. So I think you got to make the switch, right? It comes down pretty quick, and yeah, it's, it's a no-brainer. That is for sure to make sure we get the best players available on our team onto the right line, and we'll get Johansson down to the second line with Strom, Aberg, and you see Aberg. Heck yeah, it took him five games to get three points, where it took. Uh, Ty Ratty, 16. Had to do the math. Had to do the math. All right. Let's get ourselves some more Western Conference opponents here. Still feels weird to touch my face without the beard, let me tell you that much. And we'll go through Dallas, LA. What's Dallas going to hold for us? We win 3-2. Yes, good, good, good. And we're going to have to turn down injuries here. We're getting injured way too often. And now we got to bring in Ty Ratty. So that's going to be definitely the signal for me to turn down injuries for sure. Ty Ratty back into the lineup. And against the LA Kings, we lose 5-2. Leon Dreisaitl back, ready to play. Thank goodness that's clutch because we've got to get uh, Ryan Strom there, Brodziak there, and then Kara back over for Brodziak. Upshaw will check his stats quickly. Um, hold on. One goal, two assists, five games played. See, everybody else can get points in games. That's the big thing, right? Man, it's, it's been a rough time for... Tyratty and you see he's still got that one goal and two assists so let's stop the simulation as soon as we can we'll finish it right now before we head into Vegas we lose 2-0 there wish I could have stopped that a little bit sooner eh that would have been nice Connor McDavid 19 points Leon Dreisaitl of course in there uh, right behind him at 18 so we'll see what he can do and gameplay sliders get into the sliders and turn down the injuries because this is uh not working the way I'd like it to, and there we go. Let's get it to seven and see if that helps us out at all. That's a few too many injuries. Like one a month is about what I like to average for franchise mode. Make it interesting, right? That's that's what I like. But um, yeah, it, it's it's not good to be injured all the time, and I can't afford that. Spend three quarters of an episode editing lines, right? So we've got five more games I want to go, and then that should secure us for this episode. See what we can do. 4-2 victory. All right, we're cruising now. Uh, Central Scouting has released the latest draft rankings. All right, who's on top? All eligible. Micaias is ranked number one. Of course, I don't know why I don't have uh, Jack Hughes in here. It's a weird go. Kirby Dak is rated second. Peyton Krebs rated third. And you see there's just a couple guys who are rising and falling. Everyone else is staying pretty steady. Um, yeah, central scouting rank up from a 27 from a 30. Okay, that's not bad, but there's no one that's really jumped up the charts yet. You see two, three, one kind of spot moves, nothing major. So against St. Louis, we get a 2-1 victory against Minnesota. Come on, we got to clutch this here. 2-1 shoot a loss. I'll take it. 5-1 loss to Calgary. That hurts and 3-0 against Colorado, all right, all right, all right. We're 17 and 12 and two. We need a couple more OT losses. We're one point back a second. We're in a good spot here. Leon Dreisaitl, 24 points in 28 games played. He's starting to put up the numbers now. You see Connor McDavid fell back to 20 points in 31 games. Ryan Nugent Hopkins, 19 points in 31 games. Strom with 17, Kuliarvi with 16. Johansson got some more points on the board. Bias Reed with 13, and guys are starting to put the puck in the net, that is for sure. Drake Jula had 10 and 25. At least Tyratty's put up two points in six games. I guess that's a plus. And you see Ethan Bear finally up three goals. Pontus Aberg stole only two goals and one assist, so he's struggling. And I think the big thing is you got to get Scotty Upshaw in there and see what Scotty Upshaw can do for us because I can't afford have Pontus Aberg only scoring 13 or three points in 13 games that's just not going to work so the lineups continue to be edited as we go along through this season Pontus Aberg it's nice while it lasted but unfortunately my friend you are done for the time being and of course Drake Cajula will come in and we'll get him on to the second line and see what that helps with Drysaddle and Johansson and hmm 
You know what I'm going to try? I'm going to try Upshaw, Drysaddle, and Pooley RV on the second line. I think that's what I'm thinking there. And the defense, they've been all right, right? That's that's all right. Clefbaum, 12 points. Larson, 2 points. Larson's been rough. That's a really rough go for Adam Larson, for sure. Last thing I'll show you before I peace on out for today's episode is we only got... Uh, through 13 more games because we had all those injuries I will show you the player stats for Cam Talbot and Miko Koskinen let's go see what we can find here goalies and Cam Talbot's 15 and 11 and 930 save percentage 218 goals against average how about that Miko Koskinen 166 goals against average the goaltending is not the issue boys we are a very good club this year and we are two points back of sole possession of first place. I'm Tyson, this is Stolen TV. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a like. As always, guys, I will catch you in the next one.